Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say thank you for all the views and the nice comments. I really didn't think that video would go over like 150 views, so I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Um, so I thought I'd film a favorites video. What more do I make? The first one is this DH Cosmetics. Wild and radiant baking illuminating illuminating <laughs> illuminating and bronzing palette. Every time I put this on, I get people ask me what I have on all the time. <gasps> and this is I love it so much. Like that's just one. Let me just do it over here. But do you see that? Like really good and this is like eight dollars and that's what I have on right now get your life other one is ruby kisses I use it under my eyes because I don't like I get the idea of the, the loose baking powder but I like the look that this gives this gives you like a yellow a yellow look under your eyes suitable for women of color in my opinion so even though I have to if you use it alone, it does crease, but use like a loose, whatever your preferable loose setting powder is. But this on top just gives you that, like, just, what's the word? Gives you a really, a really nice yellow look suitable for a woman of color. That's, that's the only way I can describe it. And it's like $6 at the beauty supply store. Where can I swatch this? So yeah, really nice yellow. And uh, Maybelline Fit Me, amazing, the color 340. I stopped using it for a while because they stopped carrying the color. And one day I went to Target and it was there. This is so good. Like people think I use, I have MAC on when I have this on. Um, coverage is good, I like the consistency of it. It's nice and creamy and it's pretty matte for oily skin. Like I still get oily but, but not as quick. So it's a really good foundation. It's like. I want to say six to seven dollars depending on where you get it. Don't get it from like CVS because it's like ten dollars. This I recently got from um, Ulta and it was like I want to say six dollars. Not expensive but so beautiful. If you are darkest skin this will be a very pretty highlight color for you. Um, where can I swatch this because I have henna on my hand. Um, but do you see that? That copper. That is so pretty. I use it on top of my bronzer when I want to sheen on my bronzer and not so much of a matte. But it's so good. And they were having like buy one and get one half off, but nothing else I liked. So it's a Revolution. That's the name of it. Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer Powder. And the color is Rock On World. So pretty. I'm telling you, like, if you're dark skin, darker than me this would be gorgeous now I used to use the MAC the MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep but I haven't been able to pick up one and I just don't want to spend that much just for like a bronzer so I have been looking for something I used to use the covergirl one but I feel like it wasn't red enough like the dark deep mineralized it's still not like number one holy grail but this came very very close and it was six for five dollars from the beauty supply store and the color is chestnut if you're darker than me i would recommend using i think it's is it cognac the one above this one but it's really good like that's what i use to bronze and i just love work my hand off why can i put this can't even see shit I don't know where to show you guys this color. It's not showing, but I promise you it's a good bronzer color. <laughs> you see it in the tutorials that I do. Um, favorite mascara has to be this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout. Like, if you have little lashes, this is so good. And I used to hate rubber 
rubber wands because they just used to poke my eye but this one is so good it doesn't poke me and it picks up all the little lashes amazing for lower lash i don't know how much this is really i was giving it as a gift so this this concealer maybelline fit me concealer bomb bomb like i haven't really use a NARS one so I can't compare it in my opinion people say it's comparable but the consistency of this is ridiculous like it's so creamy it's ridiculous it's so good I'm sorry I'm rushing through this am I rushing I think I, I feel like I'm rushing but my battery is blinking and I'm not I'm trying for it not to die um, the Maybelline age rewind now if you want like coverage this gives so it's gives so good what am I speaking it gives such good coverage um it's not really it's kind of thicker than this a little bit than the fit me but in terms of coverage it's so good like i used to use medium but i use neutralizer just because it has more yellow and not and i pair it with this so it's pretty good it's hard. i'm telling y'all bh cosmetics do not play but i don't want y'all rushing and finishing it and when i go online to buy it's not there anymore but i did put you on so you're welcome um, what else? The mix primer base. This is new. I just hated like putting. I used to use a Nivea sensitive bomb, whatever the one Nikki, the one Nikki tutorials put everyone in the world on. But I just I hated it in the beginning. I didn't see it working. But later on, I do feel like it worked. It was tacky. Put the makeup on nice. But because I love to use the art candy. It just gives a weird consistency when you put this on first and put that on top and it was just I like both of them so I just didn't know what to do but this is not really my favorite but it does give you a good glow you know what I mean? so I'm still trying it out and I'm thinking of getting the color on, um, above this one but it's good but I'm just saying when I used to use this in Nivea it just wasn't working and then I walked by in Target and Target has a um, primer spray so I was so happy it's like eight dollars I love it so I can put this on and not have to worry if I'm lazy and don't feel like touching too much. I just, just spray this on and it's amazing. Oh, and one more thing. Shit, the battery. This, I don't really know. <laughs> How can it be my favorite? I don't really know if it works. I don't know if it works like I'm not a grease ball after, but I don't think it's like, I mean, it's good. Literally just spray it on, on and it just gets your whole face like a fan. Most of them just squirt like little and you just look like. You just look crazy. This just sprays like, like it literally fans out. Amazing. I don't even think the Urban Decay one does like that. That's why this is a favorite. And I'll grab one more thing, and I think that's it. This is the Garnier Missler Cleansing Water. I'm gonna put her name to the um, Instagram like makeup girl who put, who put me onto this. Amazing. I kid you not. Amazing. It feels like you're using water to take your makeup off, but like everything comes off. And they claim you don't have to rinse it off. So, ladies, there's no excuse. If you don't feel like washing your face, you get to use this. And I kind of had like a love hate relationship when it comes to makeup remover wipes because some of them tend to give me that stinging feeling and I just didn't like it. Like, so sometimes it would burn my eyes and all that. But this doesn't feel like that. This just literally feels like you're using water take your makeup off it sent her a message on snapchat like girl you put me on and she was like there's two blue the pink and the blue one i don't know what the difference is i literally just did any mini money one because i couldn't choose um but this is so good like i would definitely repurchase and i use it as a toner when i wash my face i don't think it claims to do that it says the refresh so i'm guessing the refreshing part of it is what you can use as a toner but um if i'm really into my skin that day i will you just take the makeup off, wash my face, um, then use this as a toner again. But it's so good, I promise you. I promise you. Like if you have a, if you have difficulty finding a good makeup remover, try this. It's ridiculous. I don't understand how this takes makeup off. I don't get it, but it's amazing. And I'm telling you. But yeah, I'm telling y'all. Like, you want to know how my skin is? The highlighter, girl. And nobody knows, nobody talks about this. That's why I'm kind of skeptical. 
if I should put this on, on social media because then everybody's gonna buy it and when you go to buy it it's gonna be out of stock like it, and it's only eight dollars I don't know if it's comparable to the Anastasia one because I haven't tried it but in terms of the packaging and having those four you know colors it's yeah but yeah that's it and thank you so much again like people watching my videos like what <laughs> so thank you so much um hope my, my battery doesn't die so I'm gonna end the video but Thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. And this outfit, because it's raining outside, I cannot. And my boyfriend's sleeping. So I hope my voice is not too deep. But I don't want to be talking loud and he wakes up. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Look at that. Girl, these are so terrible. Okay, let me let me get sprays. Like back when my mind is straight, say this money, these bitches like